Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Street Fighter V. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be going online once again. Now, here's the deal. Uh, Birdie, as of the latest patch of this game, has been nerfed pretty heavily. Uh, I think he has received significant nerfs, which is what I just said. Uh, and because of this... Not gonna lie, I have been in a bit of a character crisis. I've been trying a bunch of different characters, nobody has been kind of appealing to me. And right now, the current rotation consists of Minat. Now, Minat is a character that I've always been interested in. She is not easy to play. She has godlike keep away, pretty good pressure, good staggers, but... Uh, her main disadvantage, of course, is her HP and her defense, which is basically non-existent. So, yeah, right now, I've just been kind of training with Minot and trying her out. Of course, okay, we're not gonna, we're not gonna go ranked. That is a little bit too risky. Uh, but we'll go into some player matches today and we'll see what this character can do. I kind of know what this character can do, but y you know what I mean. Oh, that works. I did not know that works. I'm trying out V-Trigger uh, 2 at this point. I don't know how good this thing is. The, the way I see it, see that doesn't link. That sucks because her her uh, V-Trigger 1 absolutely links. I feel like this is one of those characters where the, the V-Trigger 1 is so godlike that it's like almost impossible to compete with. But yeah, we'll try her out, you know, I've been playing her for, for a couple of days, I've been losing a lot. Again, this character is not easy to play, because her defense is is bad. Even more so than, like, a birdie's. Because birdie at least has armor. Minot doesn't even have armor, so you really do gotta be careful uh, with how you play. We'll stick with... We'll stick with um, V-Trigger 1, I think. So yeah, I have officially picked the VBS outfit. I am completely okay with it. Oh, don't say my match record, I hate it. That is a lot of losses. But that's how it goes, you know, it's the grind. It's the grind of, of learning and trying to get better. We'll see how this goes. On the track suit. Gotta have them, them track suits. So the the reason why this might be good is because okay The reason why this might be good is because Cami has no projectile. Oh nice. That was a horrible punish. Oh and I threw him out of the corner. Okay, staying patient. I'm liking it, I can appreciate it. Throw it. Ah, he jumped. I knew it. You can link off of that, but it's not the easiest. Nice. I've, I'm fucking up. This is one of the things I'm noticing. I'm messing up my Minot punishes. She doesn't have too many good combos. She has a couple, but you gotta spend meter. I actually uh, kind of like this guy's playstyle, that's not safe. Yeah, don't try to backdash that. Oh, nice! Okay, that was pretty godlike. A lot of people still use this V-Trigger with Kami. I was gonna super, but... No. Just buffering. I've been practicing this buffering for your supers. This should work. Yep. That is her one invincible wake up. So you gotta be, you know, like... Oh, 
shit. The freeze is longer on that than you think. What? <laughs> the one... The one tiny ass projectile. Yeah, that is not safe. The one tiny ass projectile hit her. That's pretty funny. Because yeah, again, the thing is... The reason I'm playing Manat is I've always been interested in this character. I didn't even mention this at the start. But one of the problems I had is that I find her V-Trigger 1 execution, especially online, to be very difficult. I don't know how these pro players do it, who do all these, like, Sako. You can see him do, like, these crazy-ass uh, V-Trigger 1 Manat combos. And I find it really... I can do them offline, kinda, but it's not easy to deal with. Uh, especially... Okay, nice sweep. It's not easy to deal with, I think. So, the thing I'm... The reason I'm playing her now... Is because... They actually made... Her V-Trigger... Nice, okay. I like this guy, actually. Uh, they made her V-Trigger 2... Actually useful. Oh, nice. Okay. I kind of like this guy. I like fight. I actually, I actually like fighting against Cami. I know people. Last season, she was pretty OP. You know what? I'm gonna. She was pretty OP. I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like. I feel like she's in a good place now. You know. She's very strong. She's very strong, but you know. It's not like too crazy. Oh, this is. That was down to the last touch. That was down to the last touch. Yeah, I, I feel like she's good. Cami is pretty honest. At this stage of the game. Okay, this is when you can be screwed with Minot. When you don't have the orb out. Shit. Just gotta stay patient. Oh, that almost hit. I think I'm dead. Okay. That was very risky. I'll take that. I'll take that L. That that was definitely an L on my part. I will admit that. Problem is I can't use my sick parry. Nice. I hate that move. Oh man, just need to get one super. Chip? It still does godlike chip damage. And you know what this guy doesn't uh, do? He does an invincible wake up. Shit, does that, that does reach. I think that would have chipped anyways. Uh, at least in my mind, that would have chipped. Because it actually goes, the projectile, because she sends out her little orb. And that actually goes pretty far and does a fair bit of chip. <laughs> Man, this character. This character with this outfit is godlike. Uh, the kitty. Yeah, this is the weebiest shit in this game. Uh, and I kind of I kinda like it. Now, of course, the thing about Minat... Uh, she has been nerfed quite a bit. She was extremely strong, I think, like, right after she came out. 
but her biggest issue has always been and will always be the fact that she has trouble dealing with uh, pressure. So, you know, if you get like a, oh, that, this thing sucks. Like, when are you supposed to use this? No, okay, not that, not like that. Uh, well, what's like the best combo with that? Probably something like, hold on. Probably something like... Wait, how does it go? Yeah, so something like that. But yeah, this V-Trigger 2 is looking shitty. Maybe there is something to it. Maybe it destroys projectiles as well. I'm not sure, but it's looking shitty. It's very slow. So I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll stick to V trigger one. No, I'm not did I say trigger? I mean I mean skill, obviously. I mean skill. Alright, we'll see who we get. Uh Gil. Okay, this might be interesting. Did I no I almost fucked it up. I should just said it. Oh and this is the fucking Roman Emperor. Or Centurion type Gil. This is a cool outfit. I. Did I. How the fuck do I have 13 wins with Menat? When did that happen? I have no idea. I mean, I've been playing her quite a bit. Alright, we'll see. We'll see what happens. That Abigail costume, the Cyclops one. Is insane. I have all of these costumes too because I ha I did buy the championship edition. Uh, they, he hella getting reflected because gills they fucking love their uh, they fucking love their I haven't res reflected one thing so far. Eat that shit. Okay. Bash and grab. Damn, this dude loves grabbing. Okay. Holy shit. Okay. I, I kind of froze up on when to press buttons there. I really thought it was gonna... Man, he just jumps in. I think this guy's gonna hang himself. Cool. Ha <laughs> ha! That is. That was a weird laugh. I, I didn't think that was gonna work. I love it when the returning projectile kills someone. That's like the funny... Oh, that was... That was a read. And it worked. What? Why does he keep going for that? That's so unsafe. Shit. Shit, that's gonna hit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that, that's gonna... It kinda does work as an anti-air, that thing. Oh wait, fuck. I just lost. I just realized I lost. Why did I think I I won the first round when I clearly didn't? Okay, I cannot be too mad about about that. 
I said about weirdly there. I probably could have drilled out. I'm not sure if that would have worked. That his super kind of has a large hitbox. You know, to be honest with you, Gil is a lot more popular than I thought he would be. Overall, because the thing about these DLC characters, he's not gonna rematch. Oh, he did. Okay. The thing about these DLC characters is you don't really see them after like the first week, for some reason. At least that's how it was with a lot of them. Okay, that's super uns. I'm doing the unsafe. Okay, sorry, I'm concentrating. I'm not saying much. This character is godlike. Not Gil. It's Minot. Okay. I hella didn't know where he was gonna land there. Okay. Nice avoidance. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That is gonna hurt. He still had a lot of HP left. This guy has like a thousand HP or something. I don't know. Does he have more maybe? I don't know. Shit. I had to do it. I had to do it. Luckily, Minot gains meter fairly quickly. That jab, though. Keep thinking he's gonna go for throws. He has gone for a lot of throws. Oh, you're so lucky that missed you. That you're so—he was so lucky that missed him. Okay, come on, I can win against this guy. I can win. Shit, maybe not. Nice, nice throw. Nice throw, he's good. Damn it. Okay, I gotta throw as well. Cool. I think that's the first crush counter I've gotten. Nice. Shit, that's unsafe. Oh, I did the wrong one. I shouldn't have done... Shouldn't have done the light punch one, because the other ones, if you hit, like, lower on his body, this can be safe. Alright, GG's. GG's. But this is the thing, you know, I feel like... Unlike with a lot of the other characters I try, like, you know, if I play Kareen, it's like a massacre. I get beaten so much. Uh, cause yeah, I feel like that character doesn't fit me and I'm kind of like that with a lot of characters. Uh, and Menat is not like that, you know. Okay, that doesn't work. What about, what else? She has this one. Okay, this might, maybe this one. That works. Okay, so that's probably the, that's probably the combo to go for, unless... Okay, so that does work, and that's good for uh, V-Trigger, holy shit, that's kind of 
kind of does a lot of damage. I think there are now like even combos that can use both charges. I don't know how it probably involves doing this. And then, yeah, probably something like that. So like send it out, you blow it up, you do this and then you activate again. All right, cool. That's the thing about this. This has to have something, right, to it. Uh, action recording setting. We're gonna do this. What I'm gonna do... I wanna see if this has armor on it. Okay, I need to like... You need to time it. Shit, too early. Too early? Too late. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It, do it does not have armor. In fact, it is fully crush countable. Crush counterable. Yeah, crush count. Not crush countable. That works though. 175. I wonder how much V trigger uh, one would deal. But this is something people do. 143 versus 116. Okay, so it does more damage, I mean, obviously. 175. But I think... I think... I don't know, it's difficult to decide. I need better players to tell me what to think of this V-Trigger. I know Salko has said that it sucks. It's probably not good. I'm kind of pissed about that, that he declined. Yeah, whatever. She's cool. I like Mana. Like, this is... Mana, how much did these boys at Capcom fuck up when they didn't show this character at EVO and showed Abigail instead? You know, Abigail is a good character. I think people have really, you know, grown to like Abigail, but... Showing him at EVO, the biggest fighting game tournament, when, you know, I think that was the year when Tekken showed, like, uh, what's, what's his name? Negan and Anna and, all, like, Armor King and those really popular characters. And fucking Capcom had Abigail. And if they showed her, if they showed Menat instead, if they switched them, it would have been way, way better. Cause even her trailer, it's like super good. This is probably the best change they've made to this character, that they actually made V-Trigger 1 useful. You know, for all the people who don't have the execution. Dawson? What the hell is gonna happen here? Oh, this is gonna... <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting match. It's like... Zoning versus zoning. Thanks. You just gotta remind me after every single match, don't you? That I suck. It's all good. I don't mind. I don't know when I will be brave enough to take this character to ranked. That was... Nice. That parried moves as well. Okay, this is... This is a sliding ass Dalsim. <laughs> it's not. It's not. That's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do. Come here. What? 
What a stra what a strange interaction that is. Gotta remember that slide is not. Light slide is not. Whoa! If I was him, I'd be pissed about that. That is so weird. Okay, I think I'm gonna beat this. If you want Fireball War, can you reflect that? Oh shit, I'm dead. I'm dead, aren't I? No, I'm not. When does that happen? Man, that is crazy. I've seen that maybe like twice before all right double ko yoga i can for sure beat this guy i need to be more aggressive this is such a strange matchup this is not a this is not two characters and meet often because i think dalsim is officially the least popular character online Why does he think that's plus? I know Dalsims like to use that. But weird. Oh, cause it like... That's a weird interaction. Does that not work? It's very possible that it doesn't work. It doesn't work, okay. Good to know. Shit, I, d I pressed the wrong button. Be more aggressive. Because this guy never stopped press pressing buttons, which is a little bit strange for a doll sim. Oh, I hate that so much. He just he, he just doesn't press. He doesn't stop pressing buttons. It's so strange. This is not how doll sims normally play. I know it's my fault for getting hit by them, but damn. Well... That was that session was the highest of highs and lowest of lows. I feel like we did really well against the Kami, that was a good match, but these were like some gormless ass matches these last two. To be fair, the Gil one I screwed up. I didn't play the, my best against Gil. But this one, this is really strange. Uh, we'll chalk it up to like 90% of people still having no idea what to do against Dalsim. And then I'm kind of one of those people, especially with Minot. With, Birdie, I'd be able to do something because I'll have some idea, but with this character, I don't know. But I'll keep the grind going because this character is kind of sick, uh, not gonna lie. Yeah, see you next time when I'm better with this character. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Street Fighter V. I'm bringing back this game because, you know, with Championship Edition out and all that, I'm actually playing quite a lot of it and I'm having fun, so... Yeah, thanks for watching and peace out guys. Goodbye.